If you've been on Minecraft, YouTube at all, you've probably been recommended these kinds of videos before. I call them, uh, like, Minecraft nostalgic slideshows. I don't know what to actually call them. Like, it's always the same formula, kind of, where you have a bunch of pictures, old pictures of the game, and uh, you play C418 music over it. These are pretty popular, or at least they were. Like, this one has, like, almost 2 million. Uh, this one has 2 million here. This one has a million. If we look at this one, actually, you can see a lot of these have, like, a film grain or, like, a VHS filter over them, you know, to make it look more nostalgic or, or whatever. And it's actually really popular to, like, mix Minecraft with the, you know, analog aesthetic. And, you know, it, it is an anachronism. You know, obviously, no one in 2011 was you know, recording Minecraft Let's Plays on their VCR. But, uh, you know, anachronism can be fun sometimes. And honestly, I think it looks pretty cool to have, like, the VHS look over Minecraft. But the thing is, whenever I see videos like this, I always see, you know, the filters they use. They're usually using just like a digital filter, you know, video editing filter that makes it look like a VHS. And I always think, you know, I can do that for real. I can do that on a real VHS. I've done that before, and I think it's a lot of fun, and I think it always looks better to have the real thing than to have the just the digital filter. And I'm also just sort of a hipster. So today I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring. I'm gonna try to make my own entry into this genre of nostalgic Minecraft slideshows, and I'm gonna make it entirely on a real VHS to get the real real deal effects and I'm gonna actually document the process for the few of you who've seen some of my older videos you know that I've made uh, videos on a VHS before but I've never actually showed how weird and kind of annoying the process is so today I'm gonna go through and document everything that I do to try to figure out how to make this whole uh, slideshow thingy on a VHS the first thing I had to do was actually get all the screenshots I was gonna use, right? So in these videos, they have, you know, all these you know, old Minecraft screenshots. Uh, they tend not to use like a specific single version of the game. Usually the screenshots are from like all over. You'll see like alpha screenshots and then like early release screenshots and stuff like that. So that's what I did. I went into alpha. Uh, I also went into beta, into release versions too. And I just took a random kind of collection of screenshots so once I had all the screenshots, it was time to start making the actual video. All right, so here's our setup. We have everything we need for the first step right here, uh, which is actually the easiest part. We just need to get Minecraft basically from the laptop onto a VHS. Uh, we're on the floor today because my uh, TV stand just recently broke. So <laughs> we're, we're on the floor, but it's okay. So the three main things we need right now are the laptop, of course. This has all the screenshots I'm gonna use for the video. Uh, we have my Panasonic VCR here, my favorite little VCR. This will let me record straight onto a VH VHS. And uh, here is my little Daewoo CRTV. Uh, this doesn't actually factor into the actual creation of the VHS but uh, I will use it to monitor the video as I'm recording, so it is kind of important. Uh, I've had this TV for a long time, and it's actually been in the family for a while. Uh, it's a great little TV, it has really vibrant colors actually. Minecraft looks kind of cool on it. So of course to record onto a VHS, we're gonna need the tape itself. Uh, I do have a tape in here already uh, that we're gonna record on. This tape is actually, I've used it to record uh, a bunch of my little VHS videos. Uh, Lucid Dreams is on here. Uh, my Minecraft beta video is on here. If we actually play right now, let's see where it is. Okay, so yeah, you can actually see uh, my old Minecraft beta video right here. Let's go back to like the beginning, I guess. Uh, I also put like some anime on this tape because that's. Kind of, kind of a long story, but I wanted it to look like, oh, it's an old, like, tape that's been taped over, over, and over again. I, I like the way this turned out. Okay, gonna have to rewind through a bunch of anime here for a second. 
Record of Lodos War. Great, great 90s anime. 1990, I think. To actually get the uh, laptop to output um, into the VCR, we need this little, uh, this little thing right here. There's this HDMI to AV. It's this little converter thing. Uh, so it takes the HDMI input and then turns it into these RCA cables here that I can plug into the VCR. This will go like into the input of the VCR so it'll record onto the VHS. But at the same time, you can output from the VCR to see what you're doing. Uh, and also just like to play any videos. So that's what this cord is. So that goes into the TV here. So from laptop to the converter, into the VCR where it's gonna be recording onto the VHS and out into the TV just to monitor everything. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start recording right here. I got my remote and uh, I'm, I'm literally just gonna like set a timer and every like four, five seconds, I'll just, uh, you, you can see I have the different screenshots here and I'll just um, cycle through them as it's recording onto the VHS and that's that's my uh, little janky way of, of <laughs> making this video. Oh, that one actually looks pretty sick. All right, so I'm gonna do it and uh, I'll be back when it's done. You might be wondering, why don't you just edit together a finished video and then just put it onto the VHS tape? Wouldn't that be easier? And yes, actually, that would be easier. That's actually how I made my Lucid Dreams video, was just edit together a video on some software and then put it on the VHS tape. But the point of this is not for it to be easy. Uh, I like challenging myself to uh, make these videos without using any sort of uh, digital editing software, if possible. Firstly, I do that because I'm a hipster. <laughs> but no, I, I think it's fun. And secondly, if I just put the video together and then put it on the tape, uh, you would lose out on some of the extra sort of authentic jankiness, uh, which we will see later, such as generation loss, when you record something from one tape onto a second tape and the quality gets worse, stuff like that. All right, so the recording has been done. Uh, you can see here we have our little Minecraft slideshow here on a VHS tape. Now, obviously, uh, you can see that something's missing. There's, uh, there's no music. Of course, our little nostalgic uh, Minecraft slideshow thingy uh, needs some, some good C418 music, you know, to go with the pictures. So that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do in the next part of this video. And uh, this is where it's gonna get uh, a little bit funky. So the, the tricky thing about recording audio onto this uh, tape is that I, I can't just record the audio onto this tape. See, if I just recorded uh, the audio over the, the part of this tape that has the slideshow on it, it's gonna record over the video. So I'll have the music on there, but then the video is gonna be gone. So how do I do this? Well, the trick I have to use here is uh, a second VCR. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to play the original tape on this VCR and then the video output from this VCR is going to go into my first VCR. And uh, that way we can get the video from the tape onto the VCR. Let's play that. Oh my goodness. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's looking very bad. And by leaving the two uh, audio inputs open, we can actually put whatever we want in there. So it'll be recording the video and whatever audio we want simultaneously onto the final tape, which is exactly what we want. I have this, uh, what is this, a TDK superior quality VHS here. This was actually made, uh, uh, I think 2004, it says down there, which is, uh, yeah, VHS uh, lasted for, for a while. Uh, it kept on kicking for a few years. So we put this into there and we're ready to uh, record the video onto that tape. And now we need to figure out what we're gonna put in here for the audio. The song I've chosen is gonna be Dry Hands. I think it's a fitting song. It, it kind of has like a melancholy sound to it. Uh, I think that fits pretty well. So I've gotten out 
uh, uh, I've gotten out something. What I have here is a microphone and uh, where is it? A, a karaoke machine. Yeah, this is where it gets weird. These are actually leftover things from when I recorded uh, like game Let's Plays onto VHS tapes. Uh, the microphone is how I actually recorded my voice onto the tapes. It was very, very messed up. The reason we need the karaoke machine uh, for this weird, 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 weird project is uh, this thing can't go directly in the VCR, so it's gonna go in here, and that allows for a uh, RCA output onto the VCR right here. Okay, so final check. I have the second VCR with the original tape putting the video output into the original VCR. And meanwhile, I have the microphone with the karaoke machine going into the audio input of the original VCR, which has the second tape, which is going to be the final tape, and all of it's being output on the TV so I can see what I can, I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I'm literally just going to play dry hands off my phone onto this mic and uh, record it onto the tape, and that'll be the finished tape. Okay, so the final video is recorded. It's all nice and neat uh, somewhere on this tape. And uh, I'm not gonna show it to you yet. Uh, you'll see it in a little bit, but I, I think it looks great. It's actually more like messed up than I thought it was gonna look, but that, that's good, that's good, that's fine. Now the final step to actually get this onto my computer is I need this thing, uh, what is this? Elgato uh, Video Capture, which can convert the RCA outputs, or sorry, I guess inputs into a, a USB output that I can put onto my computer so I can actually edit it and put it here on YouTube so that you're watching the video. So this is uh, this is giving you a taste of, of how convoluted <laughs> this, this whole thing is, but uh, I do it out of love. It's made with love. All right, so I got the tape onto my computer. I didn't do anything with it besides just dropping it into the timeline on Premiere Pro and just cutting the ends, the dead space on the beginning and the end. So here it is, no digital filters, no effects. My entry into the world of YouTube Minecraft slideshows uh, purely on a VHS. Enjoy. And there you have it. That's how to spend way too much time making a one-minute Minecraft slideshow. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching.